Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching TinyMC tutorial series. In my previous video, we learned how to set up TinyMC text editor for web projects. In this video, we are going to learn how to get data from the TinyMC text editor. So let's get started. We have this TinyMC project folder from our previous video. Inside this project folder, we have JS and plugin folder. Inside the JS folder, we have jQuery.min.js file. And inside this plugin folder, we have the TinyMC folder containing all the TinyMC files and folders. And we have this index.html file that we created in our previous video. Now inside this project folder, create a new file and save it as getData.html and inside the JS folder, create a new file and save it as getData.js Now switch to getData.html file and quickly write the HTML structure. So we have the doc type, opening and closing HTML tag, the head tag, inside the head tag we have the title tag set to tinyMC get data, and we have the body tag which is empty at the moment. Now inside the body tag, let us quickly create a simple form having text area and a submit button. So we have a form, give it an ID, get data form and method post. Now inside this form, create a text area. Give it a class tinyMC and ID text editor. Then create an input tag, set the type to submit and value to get data and save. Now create a div and give it an ID data container. This is where we are going to display the content of this text editor when this form is submitted. Now we need to include all the JavaScript file needed to create this tinyMC text editor. We need this jQuery file which is inside the JS folder and we need this tinyMC.min.js file and in it tinyMC.js file which are inside this tinyMC folder which is inside the plugin folder. Now if you go inside the index page we have already written this. So let me copy and paste it. So we have the jQuery file, we have the tinyMC.min.js file, and we have this init tinyMC.js file. We also need to include this getData.js file. So let me go ahead and get this getData.js. A quick recap. In our previous video on how to set up tinyMC, we created this init tinyMC.js file. This is initializing our tinyMC text editor. Now if we look at this line selector having value text area dot tinyMC, this line actually means that we are targeting all the text area having class tinyMC and we are converting them 
into a tiny MC text editor. So if we go to get data.html file, we'll get this text area getting converted into a tiny MC text editor. And we have this get data button. And now we need to write some JavaScript so that when this form is submitted by clicking this get data button, the content of this text editor will be displayed inside this div having ID data container. Now switch to get data.js file and write the following code dollar document dot ready function. And to listen to the submit event of this form having ID get data form, we need to write dollar hash get data form dot submit function so when this form is submitted the code inside this function will be executed now if we look at this text area we have given it an ID text editor and it has a class tinyMCE. So we have converted this text area into a tinyMCE text editor. And to get the content of a tinyMCE text editor having ID text editor, we have to write var content equal to tinyMC dot get inside this get we need to pass this ID text editor and to get the content we write dot get content and to display the content inside this div having ID data container we need to write dollar hash data container dot html content and now if we open this get data dot html file and write hello world and click on this get data we got the output but it disappeared because the page reloaded. So to prevent page reload when the form is submitted, we have to write at the end of this function return false. Now if we write hello world and submit the form, we get the output hello world. We write this is a header and make it h1 and then we write if this is a paragraph and we submit we get the output and similarly we can insert image let me go to my website dyclassroom.com and copy this image address and by clicking on this insert edit image inside this source field if I paste the image URL and click OK I get the image and on submitting the form by clicking this get data I can see my image Similarly, I can copy this video link 
from my YouTube channel and clicking on this insert edit video in the source field if I paste the URL of that video and click OK I can see the video now if I submit the form by clicking on this get data button I get the video and this brings us to the end of another tutorial I hope you guys will find this video interesting and helpful I'll put all the important links in the description so do check that out and I'll post this tutorial on my website dyclassroom.com so you can check this out also and if you like watching my videos then please subscribe my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and share this video and give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to watch my previous YouTube videos click on the annotations given on your screen or the links in the description all right guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you again in my next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye